It's my first video. Actually, my f the first time I do my voice. I just puked, yeah. I was so nervous for this, uh, <laughs> for this moment. I'm never ready, so <laughs> let's get started. Yeah. <laughs> Robin Meyerink. On Instagram, my name is Robin Denham. When? In 1989. Uh, no, in Utrecht. I basically do two things. One is uh, Robin Denham. I'll uh, try to keep my uh, blog and Instagram feed rolling. And next to that, I'm working with refugees in uh, Holland. Well, that started uh, around 10 years ago, I guess. Yeah, maybe nine. Yeah. I like to say 10. <laughs> it's more or less 10, I guess. I uh, bought my first pair of jeans at Tenue de Nîmes, a pair of Roque. And my friends convinced me to buy a very uncomfortable uh, pair of jeans that was way too expensive. And I uh, thought, yeah, why not? I bought a very skinny pair, SK, the model. Then it started. Actually, I like the uncomfortable uh, face the first two uh, weeks when it's really uncomfortable and it's really rigid and stiff. I like it. And after two weeks, it's uh, like a pyjama. The favorite thing is, yeah, I think what I just uh, described, the, the, the evolution of the pair. So it starts very uncomfortable like a pair of jeans and after two weeks it will become part of, of you. And over, the, over where, over time, it will be uh, yeah, comfortable and you will create your own fate. It will be a, it's gonna be a personal uh, diary actually. When it's too hot, I cut off uh, a pair and it's uh, still raw, but it's a short, so. <laughs> I try to not wash my jeans, but when it's really smelly, uh, I prefer to wash my jeans after one, uh, one year, not earlier, and I just throw it in a washing machine. I've never had a crotch, bra crotch blown out. I don't know why. I uh, cycle a lot because I live in Holland. Yeah, all my friends have, but maybe that's... <laughs> that's the secret. <laughs> I have skinny legs, yeah. <laughs> Most of the times I get them uh, right from the source, from the brand. But I still like to, uh, to go online to uh, some denim stores or to my favorite stores in, uh, in Holland. Also good for inspiration to look what's, uh, what's on the market. When I buy online, I always buy a, a fit I already uh, have. And when I will try a new fit, I first want to, uh, to fit in the, in the store. Yeah, three years ago, more or less, I think I started. And I just started as a kind of diary, I guess. And then I decided to just uh, post the nicest fates I found on Instagram and uh, it went well. And over the years I met so many kind guys, so many cool guys through Instagram who became friends over the years actually. Nowadays it's not just a diary, it became actually an important part of my lifestyle. Every day I am like three hours on Instagram or something, maybe two, maybe three. And I talk to guys all around the world. So when I go on holidays, for example, to Indonesia, I met guys I have been uh, talking with for more than two years. I was looking on Instagram and I saw so many smaller accounts with so ni such nice uh, fates. I was like, why not collect them and post them in one feed? And it worked. In the first year, I grew like from 10K to 50K in one year. But after, I think now, half a... Uh, Six months ago, I decided to change the accounts to uh, push Robin Denham more and to push the brands I'm working with. So I just told you now I'm uh, on Instagram like two or three hours a day. Back then, <laughs> back then it was like ten maybe. No. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just Instagramming the whole day. But after a few uh, months, people tra started to tag me, so it was easier. And then I introduced my uh, hashtag, so I just had to look through my own hashtag. <laughs> it works, yeah. Yeah, I started a website uh, in January 2017. And that's the moment I decided to uh, try to make a business out of it. And I wanted to uh, also um, tell the story of the brand, um, post the, the latest uh, releases. So that was, that was a good uh, moment to start a, a website. And the name, uh, when you start a website, it's important that people uh, know where to find you and my name was already there so it was uh, a good start. Two guys, Koen Kuik, follow him, Hans Jellema, follow him. The flat lays I do myself. When you scroll down you see one flat lay in every hundred pictures so that's <laughs> taken by myself. 
Yeah, I met uh, them also uh, through Instagram. I think like two years ago, uh, we first met on the denim days. They become cool friends now. I speak them uh, with them every week. I see them once a month. It's perfect. Yeah, and when we do a photo sh shoot, it's like uh, walking through, for example, Amsterdam, drink a coffee here, take some photos, drink a beer there. It's very chill and relaxed. So I collect the uh, pieces I want to have on the photo. And after a month, it's, it's time. I call Koen. Koen uh, says, okay, we go into, uh, we're looking for a nice spot. And then we get uh, started. Yeah, well, once I just <laughs> changed my clothes, there was a very big guy working in a working in construction building. And he was walking by and he stopped. He looked at me, ah, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> and I was like, fuck you. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not uh, the guy who is always thinking about his future. I'm just uh, doing what I love most now. So uh, when you asked me a year ago, what are your are your dreams for the next 10 years? I probably uh, had said what I'm doing now because I really like what I'm doing. Everything I do at Robin Dedham doesn't feel like work, so that's why I can keep going. It started as a hobby and it still is a hobby. So. Yeah.